In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the extensions that are available for WooCommerce. In doing so, we'll specifically look at price to give you a better idea how much it really costs to set up a WooCommerce store. And that's something you're really going to have to consider. While WooCommerce itself is free, most of the really great plugins are not. If you head over to the URL that's on the screen, you'll end up at this page, woocommerce.com slash product dash category slash WooCommerce dash extensions. Two of the most useful categories in the plugin area are, of course, payment gateways and shipping methods. If we click on payments, it's going to take us obviously to the payments plugin section. We installed Stripe earlier on in the course. We also set up USPS shipping thanks to the WooCommerce onboarding wizard. If you're building this for yourself as a test, I strongly recommend you stick with these defaults. Of course, if you're not in the United States, then you probably didn't do that, and you'll need to look at a shipping option for your particular country. If you're launching a real site, well then again, you might need to choose different options depending on your situation. Many times, you may already have a preferred payment gateway like, say, Authorize.net. Well, there is an Authorize.net plugin for WooCommerce, but as you can see, it starts at $79. If I click on that and take a quick peek, you can see for a single site at $79, $599.25 sites, it's $199. At least they give you a break there, and that's pretty important. If I go back one screen for just a second and click on Select a Country, here's where you can be specific about your payment methods for your particular country. So for instance, I'm going to click on Canada and find out that, yes, Stripe is supported in Canada, as is Square, PayPal, To Checkout, Bambora, and PSI Gate. You'll notice, even in my illustration a moment ago, Authorize.net is not supported in Canada. So choose your country and find out what payment methods might be available to you. If Stripe is supported in your country, we highly recommend it. It's a fantastic payment gateway. I use it myself on a number of different sites, and I really, really like the flexibility it gives me. The other thing you can do here on the left-hand side is once I click on Payments, I can also choose by a pricing range, which is actually pretty cool. Let's take a look at shipping extensions. That's probably the other most important plugin that you'll need. So you'll see right away, we've got some staff favorites and we've got all of the others that are available to me in the United States and indeed around the world. You'll notice here I can click on carriers, delivery and shipping options, or inventory and fulfillment. Carriers are integrations with carriers to get live rates. And really that's so helpful. As I mentioned, we've already set up USPS if you're in the United States, if you did that earlier. But if you want to integrate with, say, FedEx, UPS, Australia Post, Canada Post, Royal Mail, etc., you'll need to look through these extensions, and they cost $79. Heading back up, let's click on Delivery and Shipping Options. These are different ways to charge users for shipping. If you don't want to have a particular method doing live rates in your store, and you can set individual rates, well, then you would use one of these plugins. So table rate shipping, shipment tracking, per product shipping, etc. And again, these cost around $79. If I click on inventory and fulfillment, you'll also see that WooCommerce comes with a number of great plugins, the staff favorite, shipping easy, ship station, and of course, again, PayPal. Inventory and fulfillment are some of the most useful extensions in this area but they usually have a monthly fee. There are incredibly helpful extensions to help you fulfill all your orders from one place. So if you sell on eBay or Amazon or even on your own website, all orders will be sent to one app and you can fulfill all orders from that app. You mark them as fulfilled in the app and the data is sent back to the original source. These start at free, but can go anywhere up to $100. Once again, most of these have some kind of monthly fee. You'll need to take a quick peek at that to see what that might be. All right, in the next video, we're going to look at some of these other extension categories as we continue on.